like ambulatory monitoring because it allows me to check and see how patients are doing on any therapy that I'm giving them. Now it could be that I've just got somebody on positional therapy. You now they're wearing a backpack or a shirt that keeps them off their back and sometimes that helps. Sometimes we have patients that are losing weight. They're actively trying to lose weight. Another behavioral approach. And when those things are effective, we sometimes get feedback from them via their bed partner that, yeah, they're snoring less and that there's a definite improvement, but we don't know if that's really telling us enough. So what we do is we use these ambulatory devices, which are uh, ways for somebody to take a testing device home and see are they really improved? I mean, not just the snoring sound and feeling more rested in the morning, but do they have better um, oxygen saturation of their bloodstream? Do they have less apneic and hypopneic events? And these home studies are really wonderful in that it allows people to sleep in their more natural environment. This is the book that we'll just follow along with. There's a brace that's going to go on your non-dominant hand. So it's kind of like just a arm brace or hand brace. And then it's a little snug, is that good? Okay. And then this just sticks right on top. And you have two prongs that are going to go in the front. One on your index finger. Do you feel the notch? Okay. And the second one is going to go on your ring finger. And there is a sticky adhesive that's going to just go right around your finger. Okay, and then the third piece is going to go, it has a sticky piece here and a sticky piece right here. And that's all it is. And then as soon as you get all of this on and you're comfortable and you're just about to lay down, all you have to do is push this button and a green light will go on. That's it. You go to sleep. And then in the morning when you wake up, you just take it off. You don't push any buttons and you just stick it back in the bag and bring it back to the office. It has a little card inside. So we download it into our system and it takes maybe two minutes to download the program. And the sleep report will come out and the doctor will take it and analyze it. And down here we're looking at how many events, respiratory events you had. These show uh, events where you were waking up or you weren't breathing. And these are sort of important because when you see them clustering like that, that makes me concerned with how much restful sleep you're getting. And then if we look at this scale, we're looking at how much you're snoring, how loud it is, are you keeping your spouse awake? And then we're looking at other things like how much oxygen is in your bloodstream. And when it dips down low, like down here, that's worrisome. Um, I think our patients have been very satisfied with Dr. Simmons and the oral appliance. Most patients that come in here have used the CPAP machine and are completely dissatisfied with the CPAP machine, so the oral appliance to them is heavenly. It's absolutely a friend to the medical specialist. Unfortunately, it's been the, the hidden approach and most physicians are not comfortable with necessarily using oral appliances through a dentist. And I can understand why, because they may not have a lot of dentists that are really trained at doing that. But the bottom line is, if patients are not able to tolerate the other medical approaches, if surgeries have been unsuccessful, if CPAP is not being worn, if they've exhausted all other behavioral approaches, why not 
uh, have oral appliance therapy in there. And just remember that the American Academy of Sleep Medicine acknowledged that oral appliances should be first line therapy for mild to moderate sleep apnea and for upper airway resistance syndrome. So why not include dentists? I would encourage the physicians to develop that relationship. Find somebody that's experienced, a dentist that does it a lot, a dentist that's involved with the American Academy of Dental Sleep Medicine, somebody that is either a teacher, a researcher, somebody that, that has a special interest in this area and cultivate that relationship so that their outcomes, the physician's outcomes on treating these uh, complicated patients is, is improved.